I wanted to do a um, pinup girl look, which is um, a throwback to the 1950s. Pinup girls are like Betty Boop ish kind of girls. Um, the uh, films of the 1950s movies, blah, blah, blah. So very, very perfect, perfect, even porcelain skin, chiseled face. Um, so I did chisel my uh, cheekbones. I contoured and highlighted and put in a neutral kind of blush. Not much color on the skin at all for a pinup girl look. Um, very neutral eye, all matte colors, and very bold eyeliner. Um, the beauty marks, I actually have two, but I, uh, I did one more right here. And um, it's a traditionally, it's a matte red lip. I did not do a matte lip um, because I wanted to use this um, make, MAC, not Makeup Forever, MAC, um, Dare to Wear Lip Glass, and it's called Bold and Brash. And then for the lipstick, I used a CoverGirl Queen Collection lipstick called Ruby Slipper. Um, so I used both of those things and um, contoured the nose and highlighted the nose, highlighted the forehead and the cupid's bow and all that kind of stuff. So the skin looks perfect, like highlighted under the eyes, all of that. Um, and then to kind of contrast, I'm going to tilt up. I did kind of a three bun mohawk. Um, this is a look I got from... Uh, Cheska Locks. I don't know if you all watch her, but she is a YouTube guru, guru who has locks and she does all kinds of funky looks. So I wanted to pair the traditional with the more modern, edgy kind of thing. The buns didn't come out all that great because I think my hair is just way too long at this point and I don't even know if you can see it. But um, it's three buns and then I just have the back down um, so yeah it's beauty night because it's America's Next Top Model and all kinds of great stuff so I thought I'd do a beauty night um, so I'm going to post pictures on Facebook and until next time peace